Right, our Greens family, this is Bomani Taimba, and welcome to our Africa for the Africans Towards an Investment Conference Call for today's date, April 16th of 2023. And uh, what we're here to talk about is all of the details in reference uh, from our website at africafortheafricans.org, right? And that's the uh, direct website with 100% of all the information that I usually go over whether it's uh, the uh, social links uh, for you to see all of the uh, photos and the video highlights of previous tours, or whether it's just a full detailed documentation of the itinerary, the overview, the general terms, the visa information if required, and uh, all preparation details. So those are the information that you'll find on our website. And if you're on the uh, desktop or um, laptop uh, version, you'll see a slideshow and MP3 player. If you're on a tablet, a uh, phone or a small device, uh, those things won't be on there. So it's two different uh, versions of the uh, website, one for mobile and one for uh, computer systems, or I should say desktop, laptop. So that is the uh, difference. So when I do the screen sharing, um, what you just saw was uh, the music from our website and also the uh, slideshow. So uh, but, uh, beneath that is 100% of all information. That's just the uh, presentation that's set. So this is our 17th year for Africa, for the Africans tours. And we started uh, in 2006. And before that, I started traveling to countries like Senegal in 2004, March, and Egypt in uh, April of 2004. So this is our 19th year of traveling to Africa and just documenting our experience and sharing it. So I have a whole lot of videos from the current journey, which is Senegal and the Gambia, and then also Still more videos uh, that I have of uh, Ghana. All right, so what I'll start with is uh, a screen sharing of our website. All right, so hopefully everyone can see the uh, website and everything looks uh, clear. I got I have the uh, MP3 player pause and it's just uh, various of uh, photos of dif different countries and just us um, just socializing amongst ourselves and the people that we are traveling with and the country that we're in and just showing you uh, just some bright colors and some bright energy. All right, once we scroll down to the uh, website. Uh, you can look to the left to the main menu and the same thing when you're on the mobile version. You just main thing you have to look at is just the uh, main menu and just click on the tours that you're interested in. Or you can scroll down to the, the front page and you'll see tabs where you can click on it. And it gives you the same information. So anyone that's interested in traveling with us, that's 100% um, what we just recommend up front uh, is for you to literally uh, just click on the link and just Read all the details from the first article to the last article, and that will give you 100% clarity of just what you're getting yourself connected to. And I'll, that'll just make you, make you a whole lot clearer and prepared. So from there on, you can just always call me and we can just talk and we can just go through the ins and outs and just getting everything started. Well, before I click on any of these tours, uh, because since we're traveling to uh, Ghana coming up uh, from May 24th to June 5th, 2023, I'll go through some of the preparation details and some of the uh, details for that itinerary, right? So after that, the next journey that uh, we have available that we're still uh, looking for more people to join us. And if you're still looking to travel to Ghana with us, this is the uh, only schedule we have up until next year. So if you can still make it, I can get you on. We just need to get you a visa and get a few things uh, in order. All right, uh, the fall journey, Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour, November 16th to the 27th. Uh, so that'll be the fourth time that we're going to Tanzania and that journey is laid out. Uh, breakdown is uh, spend four nights in Arusha, uh, three on Zanzibar Island and two in Dar es Salaam. And then I'm always recommending if you want to stay longer, uh, you can always stay longer as long as you want. And only thing that we need to do is just change the return date on your ticket. And then while you're there, we have our tour crew there. So you can always uh, work with them to just uh, help you with anything that you need help with. 
So yes, all of these are nine to 10 day schedules, uh, but these are introductions to connecting you to Africa. Some of them deal with business and investment and repatriation, and some that specifically deal with this Roots and Culture Tour. So that's why you see uh, the titles. So South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, that's uh, the closeout for the year, that's December 24th to uh, January 4th. Uh, so all of these journeys remaining for uh, this year, we're still looking to get more people to join us so we can just have a nice busload of um, uh, brothers and sisters from the African diaspora to just reconnect you on the incredible journey of a lifetime experience. So uh, when you look at the itinerary, it just takes you this, you know, you're just doing different things, different days, and you're just getting a chance to experience the country, experience the culture, and that's a uh, great dining. So these are the things that's uh, laid out to this, uh, take your experience to a whole different level. And for 2024, we're going to set the year off uh, for Liberia Reconnection and Investment Tour. So that's a uh, deal with reconnection, business investment. Uh, we have a, a business conference we're looking to organize to the highest level. And a whole lot of enjoyment on paradise um, as we, uh, we have a nice beach resort we're going to stay at. And that's the Kandesha uh, Resort. And that is the ownership of former Bob Johnson from uh, BET. Uh, so that has been rebought, uh, as I'm told, by um, a Ghanaian business uh, person or group. Uh, so this is an incredible resort to just give us a nice experience. So as time go along, we just look to this enhance more for our experience. And if we can put you this on beach resorts, that's um, ideal that because most of us live, um, or if we're close to beach areas, we, we not we may not rest really just enjoy the peace of just getting away. So uh, these are itineraries adjusted to uh, show that, and from there we uh, go to uh, summer of uh, July twenty twenty four, and that's uh, July eleventh to the twenty third, and that's our Ghana repatriation investment tour. So that's the next journey we have for Ghana um, after this one coming up. So you know. This, uh, those who still want to go to Ghana, just uh, reach out uh, with the thing of it is we have all these other schedules in place. So we're limited on creating another one for this year. And that's all we can do for next year. Right. And then the fall journey, I'll take you to uh, Egypt, our routine culture journey. So this is a journey of the Nile Valley civilization. Also, we'll be on the Red Sea. We'll be on um, one of incredible resorts. Uh, we'll be doing a nice uh, cruise ship uh, journey. So that's um, the setup to just give you the maximum amount of this experience and then also this place where you can just relax and enjoy paradise. And from there, uh, looking to find out what journey that we can do for December of 2024. And after that, uh, we have, let's re um, put schedule, uh, schedule Senegal and the Gambia. And after this, an incredible journey of our current um, April 2023 journey. So this one is set two years later because this is the uh, only time available outside of December. So that is the, uh, the flow of uh, the uh, tour schedule that we have with um, that literally just connect you to this. The main thing that you want to be clear on is the overview, which tells you about what's included, what's not included. Um, information about uh, tickets, uh, where, where, what, what's included in the tickets and what's not included. So. All of these are different uh, as far as the uh, setup. So just make sure that you're clear and then you know we can always get into a direct conversation in this, add more clarity. And below, while we're on our Ghana journey, uh, we'll be visiting our Black Star Pan-African community. And that is a full day tour of the 15 to 60 acres, the land by the beach, as far as just, um, just showing the close proximity uh, in the neighborhood, driving around the town and also going around our Winneba. Uh, so that is a, uh, Full incredible journey, and that is only for our Ghana journey that we do. And also along with that journey, we have a business and investment conference, usually a day or two before uh, this uh, land visit. So uh, that is the difference between this uh, Ghana itinerary and all the other itineraries. And also that's the difference between what we have. Uh, we're pushing the same thing in Liberia as far as this, uh, getting to that energy as far as uh, connecting our people who wanted us get into the world of just real estate development and uh, business. And as time go along and we just connect more, well, our goal is just to connect you with more and more experience across Africa. But uh, that's why we're working with family. We have these eight incredible countries. So scrolling down, uh, this just gives you some basic uh, updates and there's some basic information, uh, especially um, conference call links, um, how to join a conference call, the previous recordings. 
And a quick way to uh, send me a message is always just on WhatsApp. This you, know, you can click on this link, click on a link on your phone, and send me a message. And I could, you know, I'll just I'll reply as soon as I can. And these are the links for all of our videos and photos: uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then uh, other details are uh, on LinkedIn. And this is all of our Facebook uh, groups itself. So what you're looking at is a group, uh, the group photos from 2006 to 2023, celebrating 17 years. So this is us family uh, in Africa, um, people, brothers and sisters that look just like you. This, you know, some people have known you for a very long time. Some people have just, just met me recently. And um, these are the people who literally commit to the journey and make it. Uh, so it's giving you a, a, just a nice uh, flow down the history lane as far as all of our tours. And this is, calculated to over 30 different uh, tours and that's across uh, over eight countries. <clears throat> and Ghana being the most, uh, been there to 22 times on tours. So that's what you'll see for the most part, scrolling down. And in other countries that uh, were, that's close to that is three journeys in Tanzania, two in Senegal and the Gambia. And other countries are just one journey. And while you're scrolling down and you look on the left side, uh, we have things like the uh, tour books. Um, these are the books that we um, create digital versions of and uh, we also print them out. And that's something that we give to all tour members or the entire tour crew that's our traveling with us. So that's our, you know, basically our program guide. <clears throat> so while we're scrolling down, uh, these are the last few journeys, Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, December, 2022. Tanzania, November, 2022. And these are all the different designs of our colorful shirts for the journey of a lifetime. This standing out with the colors of our ancestors and the colors of the flag. And what you're looking at the smallest group of us is uh, eight and the largest uh, groups are 42, 43. So these are all multiple year and multiple country our journeys from 2017 to now. 2016 to 2006, uh, you're looking at one journey and that was this years of this building the program. And that's us right here. This is actually 43 of us. And one day we'll revisit uh, Ethiopia, but this was an incredible historical journey. And the same thing is, um, and the same thing is our uh, Brazil. Right. So these are the early years, and these go by uh, quick. So we're advancing technology uh, to where we can just manage more and do a whole lot more, but. Uh, Took a whole lot to put all of these together. So that's why they were from year to year. And this is our featured journey for our website right here. The Library Reconnection. So made this one the best deal for all of the pioneers who want to journey with us as we work to be a part of a new Liberia, a new future. Now, since uh, we're going to the uh, Ghana journey, let me just go and scroll down to whether you go to the main menu over here to the left, Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, May 2023. So these are the articles uh, you see on most of the tour links. Tour overview, itinerary, general terms, guidelines, improving your immune system, departure and reminder list or preparation lists. And in this case, uh, we have a language translation. All right, so as far as the overview, uh, let's see what we need to talk about. Let's do the overview. So 
So the main thing as far as the overview is uh, talking about uh, what's uh, included. So what's included in all of the tours that we have is transportation and tours throughout the country. Uh, so you have a bus, uh, tour bus pick you up in, at the airport and literally drop you back off at the end of the tour at the airport and you're with our tour staff throughout the uh, entire time. Um, so from myself, uh, our, our, our assistants, our, this crew in general, uh, we're taking you around on a nine to 10 day journey. And so um, we're look, usually looking for volunteers to do our daily exercise and meditation. If not, you can just do free exercise and just stretch yourself in the morning, uh, take a walk. I uh, just I put that on there just to encourage us to do these things. Uh, daily continental breakfast and gourmet dinner. Yeah, so gourmet dinner uh, is either a buffet at a restaurant or the hotel or menus at the hotel or, the, or a restaurant. Uh, but that's... Um, the best we can do is um, get you a menu so you can just get what you want, whether traditional or local or a combination, and then just enjoy great and beautiful dining. Uh, all right, uh, so we're looking at, um, at uh, hotel accommodations. There's two to a room. Uh, we have the uh, business and investment conference slash networking, uh, land tour, and also entrance and uh, access to all sites and activities. So as you're looking at the uh, itinerary, the flow of all the things that um, you know, that's on there, those are the things that's included. And now uh, what's not included is uh, your lunch, your group tips of $100, and uh, any camcorder or camera uh, fees that a site may say, which sometimes I have no idea who may charge, who may not. But whatever they say, that's what you have to, that's what you have to pay to use your camcorder slash camera, uh, if that's uh, mentioned. It's usually a dollar or two, right? Visa for Ghana, single entry is $60, and uh, that's good for three months, so one-time entry. And then $100 uh, for up to one to five years, and that's good, good for multiple entry. So those are the things that are not included. And as you scroll down with this, uh, this is just an, a highlight of this, all the different uh, sites and places that we're going to pass by, do touring or process through. And then we have a link for the hotels that we're staying at. So let's just give everyone a chance to this process and just be clear about uh, what they're going to be uh, experiencing. That way you just know what you're committing to. And uh, most of these journeys are broken down simple. Um, if you have two, you know, two cities, you may just do, or in the case of like Senegal and the Gambia, you know, it's five days, one country, four days in the next, or five days, five days. Uh, in this case, it's broken down into threes and fours. So that's uh, 10 days right there. Uh, so that is uh, the uh, setup for uh, our Ghana journey. So when we're in the middle of the journey, we're in uh, the central region. So we're going to be on the beach, on the ocean at One Africa. And the other option is another hotel. We, uh, it's called the Carrick Hotel. So these are the uh, things that we have uh, flexibility. And then once we uh, get closer to the journey, uh, we'll talk more and more to each of the, the groups. And then we just get you ready. And we just go over information. And just always recommend this ask questions, um, the dialogue is open, uh, be clear about everything so that way we can just have a nice smooth uh, movement throughout the country. And that's all if you're prepared and ready. So we just try to keep consistency as far as the bus being in the morning available, ready to go and breakfast ready and just going over the schedule and making sure that you know you're clear about what we need to get ready for the next day. All right, so on the tour preparation, let me just go back. and go to the, uh, the reminder list. Uh, so these are uh, articles with this a uh, lot of information, but uh, since we're traveling to Ghana next month, uh, everyone that's traveling with us, this is uh, your, you know basically an overview of your preparation. So all of the tour information as we talk about is on the uh, main menu or just right here in the, the main page of the website. And then it's just a link that just goes right to the information. When we talk about group tips, so this is broken down into this, all of the people that do basically uh, use tips for that's tour staff, tour crew, people at the hotel, people providing services for us, uh, restaurants, uh, people moving bags, and uh, so on, uh, entertainment, all those wonderful things to accommodate us. So that's uh, one and two, uh, three. I just always recommend that everyone come uh, with this a uh, open mind to just go with the floor about uh, what's going on in a country like Ghana based on our itinerary. 
and just just be more so just observing things and just opening their minds and just not getting to the point where you expect uh, certain things to where you just make it this uh, distract your uh, experience and distract you just enjoying your you know what you committed to. Uh, for uh, uh, Delta Airlines, um, that's where we have most of our bookings through Delta Airlines and KLM. I always recommend everyone 100% uh, once your ticket is sent to you, it's your ownership of the ticket. If uh, there's any issues, mistakes, or something's wrong, I just need you to verify it. Um, immediately is uh, usually better. Uh, that way we can fix anything that needs to be changed and so on. And then um, once you have your ticket and everything is set uh, and we, you know, we confirm everything is good on, you know, on what we agree on, then you take ownership of the ticket and it's up to you to log into Delta Airlines or download the app, create your sky miles or do what you have to do to this, put your contact information on there, your emergency contacts or anything that you need or uh, do anything uh, with uh, doing special requests or require, request an upgrade or uh, change in seats to maybe something with more, more room and, and space like that. So once you get a ticket, that's just the best thing I recommend. Uh, just log in. And then take your time, look through your booking. Um, you can also even re uh, resend yourself the email. And also you can download a PDF copy, especially if you need it for your visa or if you just need it for, uh, you know, you keep on your phone as a digital file. So these are things that you can uh, do. You can just request for special meals and things like that. So I uh, recommend it uh, more for us. Uh, literally just take the time and just be prepared because once we're traveling, I can't keep up with all these tickets and... You know, and if you need to just make changes, it's as simple as uh, calling the airlines or logging on and giving them your information. And it's uh, no issue. If you run into issue or problems, you can always reach out to me and I got your back. But everything is booked in the individual name based on your passport. So you're in the system. And that's all they need is for you to verify those things and verify your uh, confirmation number. Uh, five and six, uh, just talking about this, having your uh, having a printout of all of your information and also just having it organized on your phone uh, and just keeping track of everything to where you have things in one, one secured location and it's always with you uh, when you're moving around the airport and so on. Uh, seven, I always recommend uh, just arriving to, at the airport uh, that's no later than two to three hours and if you can get there up to over three hours, uh, that's definitely yeah, I recommend it. That way you can just uh, get your own time and just uh, relax and just uh, wait for the rest of us to meet you and we have a nice little, you know, nice little relaxed time with us walking on the plane without uh, the rushing. Uh, so all of the flights are scheduled to where you have good layovers to where even if you have a little minor delay, uh, you should be fine. Uh, eight, uh, as far as uh, the uh, baggage. So on uh, Delta Airlines, uh, it's two 50-pound check-in bags and then you can do two carry-ons. The carry-ons, uh, you can put one in the overhead bin and then you can also put uh, one like a backpack uh, under the seat in front of you. Uh, so that's a nice way to just have your four luggage and that should uh, accommodate you for everything you need for 10 days. Now, if you need to just uh, get an extra bag, it's uh, $200 for extra bag of up to 50 pounds. And also for overweight bags, 51 to 70 pounds, they'll charge you extra $100. And recommend that you put all liquids uh, three ounces or less, um, so three ounces or more, um, or over three ounces, I should say, literally just in your chat bags. And avoid just uh, having things that you need just uh, get thrown away doing, um, you know, doing you just going through security. So these are things just to get yourself organized and ready for. So that's uh, eight and nine. Uh, 10 now, when packing luggage, uh, this, what I recommend is uh, bring uh, some school supplies and things you want to get rid of. And that way, when you get there, you have more space in your luggage. Uh, for the Ghana journey, uh, just always recommend that everyone bring a set of whites and then a set of uh, red, black, green, and gold. The African, for the African t-shirts are usually a combination of red, black, green, and gold. So you can always uh, wear that also. So these are just uh, days that we have set up this to this organize ourselves in colors. Uh, 12, um, I talk about school supplies. So any school supplies you have, uh, or if you want to make financial donations, you know, it's all up to you. But I uh, definitely, rec uh, we have about uh, two to three schools that we're going to be visiting. So looking for things like uh, black doll babies for the young girls, toys for the boys, uh, and that's general uh, school supplies, uh, books, bags, paper, pencil, calculators, and clothing. And then to the left of the uh, website, what you're going to see is Collecting school supplies and financial donations for the children in Africa. So 
once you click on that link, uh, what you'll see is a list of school supply uh, that you can just, you know, just, it just gives general school supplies and other things like computers and uh, school bus and things like that. But that's a full list. And this is um, just some of the highlights from some of the previous schools over the years that we've visited. And that's primarily in uh, Ghana. But uh, this is what we do for all of the journeys that we uh, have. Uh, th uh, 13, so we have two meetup times, um, one in Atlanta and then one in New York JFK. So the main meetup time is New York. So it goes for all of us to meet up at a uh, meetup. Let me see right here. Right, so two hours before that flight, the meetup time will be uh, nine o'clock for a late 11.40 uh, p.m. flight. So uh, we have all that time to get to New York to meet up at nine o'clock. So all of our routes are all different. So all the flights have been scheduled to get there basically before nine o'clock. Uh, so that would give you enough time to get to the airport, move around. And since I did all the uh, bookings to Delta Airlines, all of the flight uh, flies into Terminal 4. So you won't have to leave uh, the building. You can just um, go to your gate. So we have more than enough time to this meetup. Uh, if you need to get something to meal to go, order it because you don't want, you, you, know, you may not like the those small uh, airport food, uh, airline food that you'll get. You, you have enough time to do those things. All right, so 14, uh, bring any uh, necessary medicine. There's anything that you feel like you may need that way you're just prepared. I mean, you do have pharmacies and you do have malls right there in the neighborhood, right there directly where we are we're staying at and uh, it's you can go there but it just takes away time from you just enjoying your journey uh 15 uh this camera camcorder extra battery film bring portable chargers uh, unlock phone if you want a sim card uh things like that uh so these are your this technic technology this uh package uh from this converters to adapters uh, all your travel uh, electronics and you know that because when you're traveling and you're just moving from one location to the next you just want to make sure that uh, everything is charged up because when you get you know, start reporting and your, your battery is low your your you know your sd card is filled up so just recommend everyone to think about all these things that way you can order it now you can be prepared you can get your foreign adapters and your extension cord and uh, you can get all those things that organized and if you need any help if you need to this <clears throat> Be clear about any of these things like you're just wondering, like, you know, what does all of this mean? You know, we can just have a conversation or you can just also, uh, once we finish, you know, you can just ask any question and we can go through it. All right, uh, 16, travel iron, alarm clock, plastic bag, uh, compact uh, umbrella, waterproof poncho and other convenient accessories. So this deals with rain and waking up and or getting up and just, you know, ironing your clothes, but these are just all just convenient things because you just, you're in a suitcase. So, you know, you can just use this list and just uh, use it also as a way just to check off the things that you feel that you may need. But I'll try to put as many things on here as possible so you can just process what, um, you know, all these things. All right. Uh, 17, mosquito spray um, or repellent or centronella oil, just anything that you just could feel that's best for you based on this, what you're open to. And some of these have uh, uh, you know, basically chemicals and things in it. So just be clear about what you're getting. But I uh, definitely recommend uh, just, you know, bringing anything deal with mosquitoes and making sure that you're good and avoid just having a bunch of sweet smells and things like that. Uh, 18, calculator for basic things like currency exchange. So currency is a lot more than what it is right here. So that is... It's closer to, for one US dollars, you get about 11 Ghana CDs. So uh, it is uh, basically a double since the last time we did one of these journeys. Uh, so that is uh, the big difference. Or I should say since uh, last year, um, summer. All right, um, always recommend to bring as much cash as you need and uh, the way to get local currency is to the ATM so that's not a bad option also but I uh, don't recommend you just uh, feel like you can just come in and just use all debit cards you can if you want but just uh, bring big, big bills 50s and 100s that way you can get the best exchange rate
And if you know you're going to do a whole lot of shopping, this bring more cash. As to the weather in Ghana, range from 70 to, to up to close to about 90 degrees, but I never feel like it's a super hot there. Um, maybe I'm just used to the weather. But uh, that's basically letting us know that it's going to be hot. So this dress uh, tropical. And these are a list of things that we have on there. And then we're also going to be having pool parties. So if you want to come and swim, just come on out and sw uh, swim. It's like we're looking to just go out, enjoy fine dining. So just you know, wear, you know, pack some real nice things to wear. All right. So and then when you're looking through the, the photos, you know, when it, whether it's nightlife or whether it's just us just moving around socially, you can just kind of see what people are wearing. All right, 21, just, uh, just be mindful of taking photos at certain places. Um, I don't think it's the end of the world, but um, some people can just get funny. All right, 22, um, all right, I need to update this. This should say Alliance, um, uh, but that's uh, what we have on, um, I guess, the new list. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Pat, uh, as far as uh, travel insurance, uh, definitely recommend it, uh, but there's just, we have no way of packaging it. So just recommend that you just do some research and if it's something you feel you need, just go ahead and uh, get it. And if you need anything from us, uh, let me know and I got you. Uh, 23, uh, toiletries including uh, tissue, uh, uh, soaps, uh, napkins, uh, wipe, uh, facial uh, tissues, washcloth, beach towel. The washcloth is, um, I just wanted to make sure I was looking at it. I was like, because people like, people tell me that they don't have washcloths. So I always want to make sure that I put it on the list. So, so some hotel, regardless of how fancy it is, they may or may not have washcloths. So that's one of the things I always recommend. And I usually bring my own beach towel. Uh, so these are the things that you can just think about uh, if you want to or, you know, you don't. But um, And the good thing is if you don't bring them, you can just buy them for a whole lot more money once you get to the country at the mall. All right, 24, that's always one of those remind everyone that uh, wherever we go, people are going to be very friendly. We're in the business of tourism, so everybody loves you. Uh, <laughs> You come in here to spend money, have a good time, learn about the culture. You come in here to just embrace people and all those wonderful, beautiful things. But, you know, it's the reality of it is, uh, you know, you have to just be wary of people who just want to make quick money off you or just sell you uh, dreams that they can't uh, just help you just uh, achieve. Uh, it's uh, been the unfortunate, but it's one of these things where... You know, you just only think you just tell people that uh, these things are real and um, people are going to be nice and tell you a bunch of different things. I can't, uh, that, you know, when somebody's selling you something, I, you know, I can't monitor what everyone is telling you. But I understand that, you know, you're on, you're on, you're on a historical journey, a pilgrimage, you're also on holiday, you're on getaway, you're on, you know, all these things. Uh, and, you know, you have one thing that people want to get access to, which is this for you to just do business with them. And it's always a tricky thing. So uh, you can always reach out to us, you know, uh, for this free consultation, whether it's myself uh, or tour guide or other assistant, uh, that's what we do. So we wanna make sure that you're clear about people who you may run into that uh, are quick to sell you a, a dream and a whole bunch of different things. All right, as far as uh, 25, as far as uh, leisure time, um, not sure, sure who's into cards, dominoes, uh, into just chess, board games, but uh, especially when we are one African at nighttime, it's just a perfect setting where we're just out there. The bar is there, get you a drink, music is playing, and just you know, either relax or you can just enjoy the ocean or you can just get into you know, one of these uh, games. So that's what we also do. Uh, 26 emergency uh, items. So flashlight, basic first aid kits, uh, uh, things like that. A uh, whole lot of list of a few things that you just want to be prepared for. Uh, 27, this, oh, we always recommend everyone just focus on themselves and then accomplishing their mission and just don't get distracted or get caught up into complaining. And then understand that, you know, you have a journey that will have its ups and downs. The downs will always be just you know, long flights and sometimes a long drive or 
when you just feel like you're just not getting enough uh, rest and ups is just um, great food, excitement, historical places, and just us, us having the journey of a lifetime. So these are all things that uh, are literally just uh, part of an experience, uh, and that's the best we can do. Uh, 28, yellow fever card waiver. So you can bring a waiver or get a yellow fever card or just, you know, it's one of those things I'm seeing it more and more. So if you can't get it, you know, we can definitely get it worked out for you as far as this. Um, I've seen about the uh, waiver and if you can get the card, that's all fine. Uh, 29, uh, we talk about baggage. Uh, so once you get your bags at the airport, just put them on a cart and then we'll all gather together and then we'll make um, my welcome to Ghana uh, uh, video, which is just um, exiting out. You'll see a whole bunch of uh, people uh, waiting for us and just ready to this, um, this welcome us to Ghana. So um, as uh, time gets closer, when we get to the uh, airport, we'll just be you know, organizing these plans um, and we just make it all work. And it's, you know, it's, you, know, you just get off the flight and then on the bus and you're at the hotel and then you're just in Ghana. All right, so uh, 30 is just a reminder of just anything uh, that you may uh, think you may need candles, uh, anything to just make a special connection and so on. So when you're looking at this list, this list is uh, literally just us just trying to get you prepared and focused. So use it uh, to your discretion. All right, so uh, it's a whole lot of information. Uh, we can honestly just go through the website. And for those who are looking to travel to any other country, uh, it's the same thing too. Um, uh, we don't always go to all of them, uh, but just want to get the people who are traveling to us with us to Ghana and the people who are traveling all the tours to just be clear, read it, process it. And if we need to talk uh, directly, we can. And if you have questions uh, about any specific tour, please just have your questions ready. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is the uh, newsletter. So the newsletter is just basically just sharing this, you know, usually just a few updates, but the main thing is the dates and information to get on a conference call and then this all of our schedules and then a link to all of the um, basically the conference calls that we just record this religiously every month uh, this is there and uh, our goal is just to go to a different part of the uh, website uh, documentation and just keep on sharing a link to our payment options and this is the full schedule also So in between our conversations, uh, usually we just go to, uh, or we've gone through a whole lot of these uh, same information. So it's just a program guide to our conference call, especially for those who just have never traveled us. And just show you just a whole lot of history and a whole lot of group photos. And, uh, and then, and then uh, some of the similar links that's on the uh, website as far as the uh, Facebook group page. And then this is literally just all of the group photos in a small little thumbnail. So that is our experience family. And then all of our links to all of our popular pages. Now, when you click on the uh, Facebook uh, link and it takes you to my main Facebook page, it will show you this, you scroll down and just see nothing but updates and this us posting. Uh, but if you click on photos, and then you click on albums. You literally see this a whole history of just every single tour that we've taken across Africa, this galleries. 
So I'm still adding uh, photos to Tanzania, Ghana, and also Senegal and Gambia. Uh, so you have multiple galleries. And it does basically show you from point A to you know, from the beginning and then come, going and coming back and just showing you this, the important highlights this based on our experience. And uh, this is a part of our this lifetime documentation, not only just putting stuff on this, our own platform, but just getting it on the popular networks and just sharing our experience and just invite any of our brothers and sisters that have any interest to that, you know, that's this you know, player and download our program to just uh, join us. And the uh, YouTube page, uh, you can always click on subscribe. And um, mainly what we do is a whole lot of live videos, which may not suit every audience because it's just hardcore, this uh, conversation about um, Pan-Africanism, nation uh, building, uh, us making a move to Africa beyond tourism and just building a foundation, working with the people that we have moving and the people that we have there in each country and this building something special to where we can compete in business, compete in the world market. So in a nutshell and other controversial uh, subjects, but uh, you know, that's one of our programs that we do. And then we'd also just share updates on a move back and forth and connection with Liberia and Ghana. And so the main thing about the uh, YouTube page is I want you to scroll, scroll down. Um, these are all the latest uh, videos, but uh, what you see below, below the latest videos are all of the current uh, tour uh, uh, playlists. So uh, Liberia is a preparation that we get ready for. So these are just interviews, conversation, live videos, just getting us ready. And the rest of these are just the, the last, basically the last four tours that we've taken. Uh, so that's, and I'm still adding to the Senegal and the Gambia, the Ghana one, um, I'm still adding and the Tanzania one is completed. And then this other Ghana one is completed. So these are just literally just a whole lot of uh, videos. Some of them are short clips, a few minutes, uh, 20, 30 minutes, one hour. And, um, but most of them are in between anywhere from a uh, few minutes to up to uh, 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, scrolling down some more, this is some of the um, the, the COVID era, uh, bas basically our tours where we just had to follow a whole bunch of protocols, but that's us showing you that uh, we survived it and we just made it work. And this is a full community update. So the same thing, there's a whole lot of conference call, a lot of highlights, and we're just showing you from the ground up uh, what we're building. Uh, literally just letting people know that they, this is how we do it in the grassroots. We just go from the ground up and we just figure it out. We learn, we grow, and we just build in our black empire. So that's one of our incredible projects and uh, gonna keep on putting more work into it and always looking for more people to work with so we can just build something special for our children, our future, and something that does put us in uh, with a foundation to where we can just uh, you know be more successful in Africa and just put more of our resources together and just uh, cut as or minimize as many losses as possible by just being organized and this you know, having a proper setup. So more playlists uh, for the you know, Ghana before the uh, COVID era. Uh, these are some of the biggest journeys that we have had and then other countries, uh, South Africa, Brazil, Ethiopia, and then the first uh, journey, uh, Egypt 2004. And then our Africa tours and our investment and in, uh, conference calls. So all of the, this literally just everything related to those things, we just have a whole lot of this uh, recordings and a lot of them are long, but this is just us just getting our information out there, just having these conversations, talking, talking about our experience, um, how we've been able to just stand the test of time and then uh, talk about our evolution of just looking to this, you know, expand operation to another level. So. That's also the purpose of building that uh, entire uh, community slash town because we'll be able to have <clears throat> an incredible business and technology center to where we can literally just run all operation that we usually just do in Georgia with minimal staff to just a full staff in Ghana.
Uh, so that is the uh, they uh, that's the Facebook, and then this is the uh, YouTube page full of uh, photos and videos. So you're more than welcome to just take your time, uh, Bruce, breeze through, check it out, and then definitely just reach back out and we'll talk. And then uh, that Instagram, it's another page, us, our social nightlife, summer, a little bit, honestly, there's every kind of picture. Us are out partying, us eating great food, us at historical cultural sites. Now, I'm not saying that every single thing that we do is for everybody because it's not. Um, so, uh, but um, we just provide an incredible schedule. And as you can see, we have from the youngest young people to um, people in all different ages. So we just create a dynamic program to where it's fun for the whole family. And if you want to socialize at nighttime, you know, we have different social places where you can just get out. We can talk, socialize in this enjoy a drink and this yeah talk beyond us the general tour as far as this you know usually a tour guide is talking and you may want to have certain conversations and things like that and scrolling down this um you know showcasing our world our life our business uh and these are just all different countries and all different groups us at beaches swimming pool us Posing up with all the different color shirts, uh, more nightlife. And then just uh, pushing out like a marketing brand of this marketing uh, and a big logo, Africa for the Africans, and just pushing the, the colors. So. And these are some of the first houses that were going up on our uh, community and these are all completed and more coming up. So it's, you know, it's one of those things you tell people, don't ever give up on your dreams. Yeah, you know? whatever thing that would be building a town, building a community, getting our homes built and things like that. It's just it, honestly nothing that we never thought we would just been able to do. But this is our marketing, just showing this, the, the world of, of this, our flow, our connection to this, showcase in Africa and uh, us out in boats in the middle of the ocean enjoying tropical drinks uh this cool breeze uh new year's party um uh, historical sites and always more great dining So this is a nice uh, grill fish. And you see a lot of swimwear pictures. Uh, it's always uh, literally just me and my son out in the pool and nobody else. And then luckily, sometimes we have one or two lucky guests that come in the pool and say, hey, let's take a picture. And the people you see in the pool, that, that's it. But uh, it's a um, you know, nice little time to relax. And this, this is... Uh, you know, this, that's the popular thing nowadays, uh, you know, your Instagram, people know what you're doing on Instagram. This is us, like, traveling around the world and just showcasing our experience, you know, getting into state sustainable development, uh, just jet skiing and just enjoying life. And then also just making it as educational as possible. That's the ultimate element. I tell people they can say what they want to say about any of the, the photos of making it seem like we're just having too much fun, which is fine. We're having a great time, but also we are learning a whole lot. Um, and um, Marcus Garvey Festival, Business and Investment. So yes, yeah, so it's a whole lot on the uh, Instagram page, uh, and it just retail, you know, retells uh, you know story, especially in the last uh, last seven years. But uh, this is our experience, and uh, we're just happy to share it with as many people as possible, and as many people just literally just are open to this, getting up and enjoying it with a group of your peers. And you know, I always tell people in the city, I was like, this is real food, real tropical food. And
Yes, and uh, over the years, Yes, literally more pitches than I literally thought we had on here. It's amazing because as more more I scroll down, uh, the younger I look. So yes, family, uh, that is uh, us, this, uh, uh, myself, just sharing you the lives of this us. Yeah. And uh, some of these pitches are, you know, biological family members and just you know, been able to get uh, family into this, us connecting people to Africa. All right, uh, so, all right. I did have this page up to, um, but I uh, did go over the flight details. I did have it up to, to show once you get on here, you just click on uh, my trips. I should, uh, mine is not logged in. All right, so my trip, so this is what all of our tour should say, it should say New York, Kennedy, New York, uh, something similar, but it should say May 24th. So definitely want to make sure you match up the, the dates. Uh, I mean, things happen. Um, so that's why we have to confirm information back and forth. So that's my confirmation number, and that's all you need right there, family, your confirmation number and your first and last name. So any upgrades, uh, you know, you have access to doing it all right here. And then any documentation you need, you can just view it at the very top. Uh, all right. And any uh, update on your flight changes or just anything goes on, you just get it right here in the flight information. So it's just important to, just to make sure that you have a, a log on. Um, it's, and if you're gonna fly multiple times, um, you know, it's not bad to just keep the Sky Miles account. And uh, you can just get complimentary things in the future. Uh, it has worked out for um, for us over the years. So all of my seats are selected. So um, if you don't choose your seats, uh, they'll choose it for you at check-in. Uh, but that is all up to you. With uh, but you have minimal options. But once the ticket is booked, you have a guaranteed seat. So I like this simple Atlanta to JFK, JFK to Accra, and then back the uh, same way. I remember about this book and you have to actually just scroll all the way down. So that's us and that's our live booking and anything that you need to do, whether it's, this is offering one aspect of uh, the tour protection. So you can process it. And if that's what you wanna do, it's up to you from here on because it's your ticket now. You can just add it, you can upgrade seats, you can, make any accommodations. So that's your full Delta book and a very uh, impressive setup. Uh, so let me uh, switch back. The family, let me uh, stop the uh, screen sharing. So that that is it. Uh, it's a whole lot more information I can go over and uh, didn't want to uh, spend too much time on any specific information. We definitely love to talk about more about uh, specifically in detail all other countries. That's a lot of them. Um, but um, I try to just be as general as possible to cover all aspects of this, the things that I need to know for all countries in preparation. Um, so the line is uh, open um, and um, just give your name, where you're calling from, what tour you're traveling on or what tour that you're interested in on. And just let me know your question and uh, let's uh, dialogue. And so family, uh, once again, this is Bomani time, but this, uh, this is our Africa for the Africans uh, Tourism Investment Conference call. And we're here to this, um, have an open forum for anyone that has any interest or that's traveling with us. Hi, Hi. everybody. My uh, name is Lisa. I, I, I live in Arizona. I live in Arizona. And we're uh, interested in going to Egypt. All right, uh, excellent, um, Ozzy and Ellison. Uh, welcome to the call, and I appreciate you joining us. And thank you for getting ready for the Egypt journey of a lifetime. So always tell everyone when you're ready, just join in, and then we'll just keep on adding more people. Yeah, so what is your question tonight? 
I, don't, I really don't have a question. <laughs> I just I'm can't just, wait to uh, go. Oh, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> as you can see, um, as time goes along, we get around to them little by little. So yeah. this uh, just came out from Senegal and the Gambia, excited and ready to uh, get some more people ready for another journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just came I went to Ghana last year, July, and I had an yeah. awesome time. Uh, incredible country once you get there you can just um just enjoy the food and enjoy paradise and just enjoy africa especially if uh, you got good accommodations and you have people taking care of everything uh, which is what we do mm -hmm. all right so you're clearing all of the egypt information as far as the overview um and uh different locations that we're going to actually do the tours I, I think so, yeah. Yeah, we took a look, but yeah. we could always go back and look at the, the information on the website if we have. Yeah, our goal is uh, to always, uh, you know, we'll probably make some minor adjustment, but uh, the goal is to fulfill the uh, schedule 100%. So we'll do a historical Cairo uh, to uh, Aswan to Abba Simbel, and then uh, we'll come back up on a cruise ship uh, from Aswan to uh, Luxor. And then we drive from Luxor to Ergada and uh, stay on a tropical beach resort. So all of the uh, important historical places as far as uh, the uh, Cairo Museum, uh, the Giza Plateau, um, go down to Abba Simbel to the, all of the temples and other uh, historical museums. We just have those things highlighted on the uh, itinerary. Uh, mm -hmm. So the goal is to revisit you know, what I've experienced uh, almost 20 years ago and just do it on another level. It added a Made make it more like relaxing and enjoying paradise. So we have a water park at the end. It's a resort slash water park. Will there be any free time like to go to the market and like someone to buy some spices? Uh yes, and throughout the journey, uh you just have shopping times where you just, you know, you pull in somewhere and then you just go to a market and you just enjoy your shopping. So it's uh broken down little by little. So just tell everybody this you know while we just moving around throughout the time frame, just do a little bit of shopping here and there and mm -hmm. uh, get it all done. And if uh, nothing else, uh, you just have extra time to the, at the end to just uh, enjoy shopping and relaxing. And then you can also stay longer. Okay. So you are excited, that's beautiful. Very excited. Yeah, Thank I wish you. I can go to all your tours. I, I wanna go to uh, Rwanda, uh, Tanzania, South Africa, all of them. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, getting ready for Rwanda. So it's uh, been back for a week. So uh, I'm trying to, you know, your eyes sometimes uh, sleeping in different time zone. You're sleeping at this time of the day, that time of the day. Sometimes you wake up, you don't know what time it is. You know, but you wake up and don't know what uh, continent, what country you are on the continent. <laughs> so, literally, it was a week ago. I still can't believe it. It was literally this, literally just getting off the airplane Sunday night uh, last week. So, but uh Wanted to make sure that we just uh, you know, at least have a scheduled conference call so we can just get things going because uh just want to get everything uh ready for the next uh journeys and the better we can get people prepared, it's the less uh stress at the end. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so that was uh that was a great one. So it's a lot of highlights uh on there so far. I'm gonna put some nice uh, other highlights with us relaxing and enjoying the beach, uh doing the historical Kunta Kente uh Tour to James Island, it's a, and, and some more networking and some uh, great museums, uh, the um, Renaissance Monument in Senegal. So you know, and then even Ghana just have some more updates. So just hopefully everybody just enjoy the videos. Some are real nice, some are okay, um, but it's a raw experience in Africa showing our highlights, uh, the way we show it by this letting you just see things in full detail. Let's see. But yeah, yes, but definitely let me know if you have uh, any other question. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, uh, greetings, uh, Vera, go ahead. Yeah, I have a question. I have quite a few allergies. And right now my allergies are pretty bad here in Texas. But 
my concern is what is available do I put in for the plane what I what I can eat or should I get a vegetarian meal how does that work I just always recommend it if you just want something uh, without any meat, just get a non, uh, get a vegetarian meal. And so that's right there on your login on one, on your flights, uh, uh, whether it's Delta Airlines, KLM, you can just request a uh, special meal. Okay. Because also I have a problem with wheat and dairy. So. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so they, they'll give you basically a non-dairy vegetarian meal. Okay. That's that's what it's uh, specifically called on Delta Airlines. Okay, I will. Thank you. Oh uh, yes, definitely. I hope you're enjoying the highlights of our journeys. Uh, we've been putting up a whole lot of them. We are so excited. We have already packed. <laughs> so we are ready for Ghana. I hope Ghana is ready for us. Oh uh, yes, uh, uh, yes. As long as you have your um, Lisa, you are good. Oh yeah, it's done. But I also am concerned about the insurance. And I know insurance is sort of overrated, but you never know if something's going to happen. So uh, maybe you can talk about that a little bit. Uh, yes, just recommend uh, you just um, do some travel uh, travel insurance research. Uh, but what I got is I'll pull up what we have as far as one of the companies uh, that's used. Let me uh, switch over to screen sharing. All right, so this is a website uh, called uh, AllianceTravelInsurance.com. So to um, you know, to do a basic quote, you just you can just use one of these uh, systems right here, and then you can just put in your details for your your quote, and then uh, just I'll just recommend from there. Just look at some different options, and then also you can just call an agent or sign up, and you can just. Ask all the right all all the questions you have, and then they can set you up with a policy. Okay, thank you so much. Absolutely. Okay, I'm done. All right. All right. So, family. Um. Uh, next person. Uh, your name, where you're calling from, your um. Country you're traveling to, and your question. And Sister Kuvi, I'm trying to uh, unmute you. All right, uh, Kuvi, you are, you are unmuted. All right, uh, cannot hear you. All right, uh, next person, let me know if you have any questions. If not, let me find something else that uh, we haven't reviewed. And then from there on, we can close in a few minutes. But I um, want to make sure that, you know, we make ourselves available once a month to go through these schedules and get you prepared and ready. So the next uh, journey that we're looking to you know, really just get more people open to is Rwanda. Hello. Uh, yes, greetings, greetings. Hi, my name is Bridget, and I'm calling. I'm I'm from Chicago. I'm new to your Zoom um, conference. Um, I do have a question. I'm not set to travel on any um, uh, trip yet, but I do want to go. Um, I'm interested in going to Ghana, and I'm real interested in the investment part. I'm interested in finding out what is it that they're offering for us to invest in? Do I have to wait till I get there to find out? And then um, I saw where you guys were building. What area is that that you're building in, in, in Ghana? You know what I'm saying? I am uh, yeah. interested in investing. So uh, yes, yeah, so as far as the area that we're building in, it's called a Jahadzi. It's uh, outside of our Winneba. 
Uh, so it's basically um, two hours away from Accra and Cape Coast. So you're in the middle of Accra and Cape Coast uh, somewhat. Uh, so that's giving you this uh, the, the travel distance. So you're not that far away um, and you're right there on the coast. Um, and as far as the investment conference, it's basically an introduction to explain uh, just the flow of this, how business and investment work in Africa. And then you hear from people who are experts, people who are experts who have lived and done business there in Ghana. And uh, you hear it from a legal perspective. And also you, hear, you have representation from people dealing with uh, land acquisition. So you get a good feel of just, um, you know, of just, you know, when you open your mind and you're looking into certain things, you know, you just get an idea. So it's an introduction. And then as far as investment, uh, what we're pushing is always like real estate development. We have land, so we push uh, for us to build our homes and build business on the land and then expand out to, into um, uh, different industries as far as just, um, us just getting more into the, in the world of manufacturing or uh, warehouses and uh, storage. Uh, so uh, no level of limitation and just um, uh, looking to build a whole town. So that's our investment that we're pushing uh, for people to come uh, get some land in the town and just be, you know put your energy together and we just build a town together. Is, uh, is, the, is the land expensive? Is it, I mean, I, and then how many acres are you, you know, or is that something um, I have to wait and... I mean, I can always send an email on it. It's uh, the information that I was talking about on the website that say Black Star Pan African Community. So is this information that's uh, readily available? Um, let me uh, show you. I'm sorry. I was I was trying to get on Zoom. I was having such a hard time, and then it. I was trying to get on on my computer, so I wound up just putting the information on my phone. That's why I was late. I tried to figure it out. <laughs> All right, done. Now, once you're on our website, um, it's just, uh, it, it'll show right there, Black Star Pan African Community. And I mean, from there, you can, you can always email me and I can always send you something via email. What but, website is that? What's the name of the website? Our website is africaforthafricans.org. Um, okay. How, however you got the uh, information, that's one of the things you'll see. Uh, so once you're on our website, africaforthafricans.org, you click on Black Star and... Okay, so just go on there and view. Uh, and it's a whole list of articles um, from the introduction to site maps, uh, land search. Um, then you go all the way down, it's getting started, the land cost requirements, refund policy, bylaws, committees, pitches and videos. Mm -hmm. uh, so a copy of the membership application, uh, membership rules. But well, these are things I was sent to you via email also. And then you'll see um, this documentation of just all of the legal papers. So okay. you can just, you know, so it's something that you have to actually just take your time, read through and process. I tell everyone this from our day one. Um, and then, you know, we have everything that's written into contracts and just, you know, real business. You're dealing with land and you're just dealing with things that people have to be clear on. And you're dealing with building a community and people working together in this, you know, and trying to figure all of that out, that out together. So th this is the structure of the layout. And... So quick introduction. And the first article just uh, give you a, a quick introduction, our logo. This is just outside one of the houses that are, that it's completed so it looks uh, different. Uh, first meeting with the chief and his uh, people. And then just give you a history of our vision of what we're looking to build. And then show some of the first photos on the land when it was just literally just a jungle out there. Does it have any fruit trees or anything on it? Well, the land is clear, so yeah, you're gonna have to plant your trees. We highly recommend oh, okay. plant a whole lot of fruit trees. We're gonna get on a, a fruit tree um, planting uh, expedition and literally just plant up fruit trees around the entire town. Okay. And uh, just uh, really just push that. From Sister Kubi. Thank Kubi, you. Kubi, technical issues. So, yeah, so, you know, take your time. And uh, the good thing about it, we have schedules, we have information ahead of time, you have numbers with everything that we deal with. So, you know, you have a set flow of this information. And uh, I'll keep on updating it as time goes along. And uh, we have uh, lots of land. So, once you check out the program, if you feel like, you know, this is what this will work for you, you're good. 
Um, Thank you. And absolutely, you're welcome. Yes, so family, lots of uh, journeys uh, to travel to, and just uh, want to make sure that information is clear and everyone is uh, ready, excited, and, and everything makes all sense. And as we get closer to uh, traveling to uh, Ghana, we'll do one of our private conference calls sometimes uh, early um, May. And uh, we'll just introduce each other and just go over some more information and then you know, we just talk some more. We just get you ready. So hopefully everybody is ready because the most important thing is you got your ticket and you have your itinerary and uh, you just be ready. All right, we have a few uh, people on the call. Um, uh, you can just hit uh, unmute and um, just reach out, say hello, say something. Let me know. Uh, it's a lot I can go over, but I uh, don't want to just bore you with just reading information from the site. Uh, but uh, the main things that I uh, definitely want to talk about is this this uh, lot of schedules and want everyone to just read the schedule details. It's all you have to do is click and read and re review, and then I'm available to talk uh, throughout the week. So yes, family, so it looks like everybody is clear. Let me just look up one time and see what else. Yeah, that is literally all of the links that I have for us to talk about. Facebook, newsletter, Instagram, YouTube, Delta Airlines, uh, insurance, and Black Star community. Uh, yes, yeah, so family, that's uh, all the information I have uh, today. Let me just refresh this, get, get us back on the main page. Yes, everything is just click and read to the details. And this is our next journey, Rwanda. So that's the dates their family, Rwanda, July 20th to the 30th. So we are getting closer. What are we? Wow, that is closer, three months away. And the same uh, tour package uh, layout. But, uh, spend six days in Kigali and three days and just send you right there on the lake. So it's a nice um, six days and that's more than likely uh, five at the beginning and one at the end. And we and usually we just try to break in the middle of the journey for a nice relaxation time. So that's why we got you on a lake doing boat rides and this enjoying water sports and this wonderful thing. So these things are roots culture and and, and but you know, it's, it's a whole lot of adventure and this relaxation and this enjoy a piece of paradise. So these are two beautiful resorts that we're on, and I should just get everybody. I feel accommodated. So lots of museum, but uh, what we do, we're gonna make some adjustments on some of these museums so we don't museum you to death. Um, and um, I would uh, limit uh, the one over, 
whenever it, come, it comes to any uh, version of African Holocaust, don't want to give you too much of this, put too much uh, in your face. So the goal is to balance it out a little bit more. Uh, but it's a whole lot of uh, you know, very modern country that we just look into this connect you. It's um, not, uh, no, not similar world as um, Tanzania, but it's right there by Tanzania. So that's um, all new experience uh, for us as a people. Taking the journey of a lifetime and this experience in different aspect of uh, Africa. And Tanzania is always another special one. So this is our fourth journey. And this includes a ferry boat and domestic uh, flights, national parks, and this us. And join us from reconnection. So got it all right in a fresh overview. Let's look into this, do it again. And this do it. so this one's broken down four, three, two. So it all gives you uh, literally just uh, nine to 10 days. And the member family definitely recommend that you stay longer if you just want to honestly just enjoy more of uh, paradise. So that's easy accommodations. And if you just need to go to another country or something like that, just uh, let me know. Um, logistically, we can work out any kind of game plan because uh, we can just work the flights for you from America to Africa internally and then. From country to country, we have we can have different people to host you, and you just uh, you and them will work out certain things on the end, and I just take care of all of your flight arrangements and just make it all work. So, family, uh, let me just uh, the line is open again for anyone to have any final questions or anybody want to dialogue or talk about anything in general uh, before we close out for the night. All right, so everyone appreciate you joining us and enjoy the rest of your night and have a wonderful week. And the journey continues and we'll keep you posted. And remember everyone that's traveling with us, we have you in a WhatsApp group and we also have you on the, the uh, email list. So any updates that we have for you, we'll just send you via email and also we post in the uh, WhatsApp group and you can just also post any questions in the WhatsApp group or you can send me a separate uh, you know, private message uh, to, my, to my WhatsApp and I can just uh, reply back to you uh, directly. So these are all the things that we have set up just to keep you posted. And um, and if you if I see that you call or you have a message I, for me to communicate back with you, just uh, send it and I'll reach back out. So on that note, family, uh, appreciate everybody uh, joining us and uh, we'll keep in touch and I'll be on uh, standby. I don't, oh, go ahead. I don't have a WhatsApp app, um, but can I email you? Can I just uh, yes, email you can email me uh, eventually when we are traveling and then we're moving from different countries to different country. I have to have you in a group to where we can communicate because not everybody okay. have the international plans on their phone and things like that. I have I have those things, but the WhatsApp is a common thing that we can all connect with. Um, okay. Say, example, you miss your flight and we're in Africa. You just send us a message and you send us something or something happens and we just can communicate with you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so, you know, you can just upload it sooner or later and when you're ready and then uh, based on what trip you're going on, we decide we'll have a group and we'll just get you connected. Okay. And it's on, it's, um, we don't use it a whole lot at the beginning, but towards the end, more closer to like 30 days or so, we're just basically just going over information. So yes, so family, hopefully everybody's excited. So everyone, you take care of yourself and have a good night. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. I'm checking out. Good night.